Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the Vanilla Root Box ROM for your uh, Galaxy Note 2. This is available for currently available for AT&T, uh, Sprint, Verizon, and also the International GT um, GTN 7100. Uh, if there's more available, I'll add I'll add it to my post. Uh, but right now, that's what's available for. Uh, anyway, let me walk you through. This is going to give you the full Android 4.2.1, a uh, full pure experience plus the AOKP ROM settings. It's basically on the AOKP ROM uh, with also the um, the module management and per app settings. This is pretty much uh, uh, exposed app settings. Anyway, let me show you uh, how to uh, set it all up. Um, so let me just kind of point out some of the stuff you should uh, worry about. Um, so go to ROM control, general UI. Uh, I usually uh, set my notification count um, on because this will show you the actual notification count for your uh, Gmail, Facebook up on the notification page and also uh, I've have a uh, kill all button, recent RAM bar and also allow 180 degree rotation on. What these are is if you hold down the uh, home button you'll get the uh, recent bar here, you'll get the RAM bar and you'll be able to kill all apps. I'm um, kind of the touch with feature I uh, added to the AOSP AOKP ROM and also you can do 180 degree rotation uh, there and uh, also more stuff you can do with the lock screen um, you can you can do all of these nice things uh, long press to unlock um, widget carousal, carousal uh, allow all widgets allow unlimited widgets now what this is uh, with Android 4.2.1 as you know you do get these widgets now with AOKP you can enable any widgets that means you can download any widget apps on the Play Store and you'll be able to actually use it and uh, get a bunch of different widgets uh, see your stocks uh, ticker uh, see the news all that good stuff without even uh, unlocking your phone so that's what it is and also um, there's a whole lot more stuff you can do with ROM control uh, status bar toggles is one of them um, you can see that I've got toggles here if you go if you want to customize it go ahead and click there go to uh, enabled toggles and you can enable all your favorite stuff here uh, and let's say I want uh, GPS first then just simply drag the GPS to the top and uh, boom you got GPS there and also there's uh, this enable fast toggle normally if you use one hand you only get the notifications and you have to click there or you'll have to use two fingers um, to, to get the actual toggles now with uh, enable fast toggle you can choose the side let's say right side now you can use one finger to see your toggles so it's much easier and uh, yeah that's pretty much AOKP you can play with it get a lot of customizations I mean it's the best of Android 4.2.1 plus all that customizations and also performance control depending on your phone uh, it might support it it might not um, this one I don't think this one actually supports it and uh, if it does, I do recommend about 1.8, 1.9 gigahertz. 1.8 should be just fine. And also, uh, let's go see the uh, modules management. To get this running, make sure you hit it and uh, hit install update. I've already in, uh, installed it. Reboot once, and when once you reboot it, you'll see that it's in green, 32.1.1. And then go to modules. Make sure this thing is checked on. Um, then you'll be able to use exposed app settings which is basically per app settings um, you can also install this on any rooted Android tablet or smartphone I actually have a full step-by-step -step video tutorial if you want to see it I'll have a link to that also um, so you can put it on your Nexus 7 or other Android devices you have uh, so with that you can actually turn all of your apps uh, into you know phone mode or tablet mode change the, the scale the fonts as you can see I've got tablet mode here which is normally phone mode uh, so let me show you that real quick um, you can go to per app settings here and then go find the app you want to change um, so I've got it there make sure it's on and you can play with the screen here uh, let me make it default again so you can see what it looked like before I did anything here I'll just make that empty and 100 that's what it was um, before I changed it so you'll be able to see my Gmail this is normal now let's go ahead and change it back um, first of all you can change the screen resolution this will if you get a higher resolution uh, like 600 by 1024 
this will turn it uh, instantly into tablet mode. Now the letters are too big uh, to read so you can mess with the DPI and also scale the fonts. Uh, let me go ahead and scale the font first maybe make it 90 uh, percent there and uh, let me go see what it looks like now so it's a little bit better now if I change the DPI it's gonna get even a little bit smaller so let me try like 180 um, there we go if you go higher it's gonna make the fonts bigger if you go lower um, the opposite will be true um, so let me go ahead and see my Gmail now it's a little bit too small there uh, but I do like the size so I'm gonna go ahead and change the font scale to 120 and hit save and let's go see what it looks like now uh, you can see whoa yeah that <laughs> that is weird uh, oh you know what I put 1800 that's why so you can do a lot of customizations um, with this there we go um, that's that looks somewhat like what I want to use and uh, go ahead and play with those three settings and also another cool feature if you use uh, flash videos you know some videos they don't um, they don't let the screen stay on now get the browser uh, go to browser and if you hit the screen on there it will uh, keep the screen on while you're running that app so you can do this with any app um, browser whatever so that's another great way also you can change the language um, per app so let's say gmail you want it in spanish uh, Netflix you want it in you know another language um, so another great way so a lot of great things you'll be able to find the um, the latest bleeding edge of technology uh, Android 4.2.1 plus customizations per app all in the root box pretty cool ROM you know and also similar to this is Jelly Bam and uh, that's a pretty good ROM too uh, but both very similar ROMs um, so go ahead and try it if this is something you're looking for if, even if it's not go ahead and try it because this is what uh, uh, the latest Android is if you haven't tried it and do let me know what you think and if you have a Galaxy Note 2 any of the Galaxy Note 2's don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2.com we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there if you have thanks a lot and uh, yeah that's it stay high on Android uh, I'm gonna keep making more videos oh yeah and see y'all later